Have you ever wondered who paints the ocean floor? What if I told you one of the smallest creatures in the sea is responsible for some of the most spectacular and large-scale art found beneath the waves? Meet the white-spotted pufferfish. Initially baffling scientists upon their discovery, these underwater crop circles turned out to be the creative signature of this tiny but mighty artist. In 1995, the calm seas near Amami Oshima Island in Japan were the scene of an unexpected marine enigma as divers came across patterns on the ocean floor. These resembled the mysterious crop circles that sparked debates about extraterrestrial activities. And these underwater formations ignited intense curiosity not only among marine enthusiasts, but also within the global scientific community. You see, the intrigue was not merely about their aesthetic appeal or complex designs. It centered on the mystery of their precise and painstaking creation, hinting at an underwater artist with both patience and an eye for detail. As buzz about these underwater mysteries spread, the area became a hotspot for divers and marine photographers, transforming it into a vibrant hub for those driven to decode this oceanic puzzle. Their efforts in documenting these enigmatic patterns were crucial. They not only captured the transient beauty of these circles, but also played a pivotal role in mobilizing the scientific community to delve deeper, elevating what once was a mere curiosity into a serious scientific endeavor. It was only in 2011 that the mystery behind the enigmatic seabed circles was unraveled, revealing a small yet impressively skilled creator, the white-spotted pufferfish. This discovery astonished the scientific community and ocean enthusiasts alike, as it challenged the notion of what small marine creatures are capable of. The revolution that such a tiny fish could craft such expansive and intricate patterns, often extending over two meters in diameter, was as unexpected as it is mesmerizing. This artistic feat is accomplished by the male white-spotted pufferfish, who dedicates himself to the task with a precision that rivals skilled craftsmen. He uses his body and fins to sculpt the ocean floor, meticulously carving out ridges, grooves, and fine radial spokes that emanate outward from the center. The exactness with which he constructs these patterns is nothing short of remarkable, especially considering the dynamic environment in which he works. Despite the ebb and flow of ocean currents that constantly reshape the sandy seabed, this pufferfish's creations maintain their symmetrical grace. But don't take my word for it. Here with me today is storyteller and marine biologist Taylor Attenborough. Taylor, take it away. The intricate sand circles crafted by the white-spotted pufferfish transcend mere aesthetic appeal, embodying a vital survival mechanism deeply rooted in the species' reproductive strategies. These underwater creations are not arbitrary. Rather, they are carefully constructed components of the pufferfish's mating ritual. Designed with precision and purpose for the male white-spotted pufferfish, the creation of these circles is a critical life function. Each circle's complexity and neatness serve as a vital resume to potential mates, signaling the male's genetic fitness and overall health. In the animal kingdom, where survival and reproduction hinge on the ability to attract a mate, these sand circles are the male pufferfish's way of demonstrating his worthiness. The meticulous nature of these designs, often featuring radial symmetry and intricate patterns, is a testament to the male's ability to provide and create a safe nursery for future offspring. The process of creating these sand circles is labor-intensive and requires significant energy and focus from the male pufferfish. Using his fins as tools, he sculpts and carves the sand into ridges and valleys, often adding decorative elements such as shell fragments, coral pieces, and other colorful materials to enhance the circle's appeal. This decoration's not just for show, it plays a functional role in the mating process. The embellishments can reflect the male's resourcefulness in gathering materials, which in turn reflects his ability to navigate and survive in this environment. The quality of circle directly impacts the male's mating success. A more precise and embellished circle is likely to attract more females, increasing the male's chances of reproducing. This direct correlation between circle quality and reproductive success has profound implications for the genetic propagation of the pufferfish. Females are drawn to the best displays, which theoretically are created by the most fit males. This selective mating process ensures that only the strongest and most adept males 
pass on their genes, thus driving the evolutionary trajectory of the species. The courtship process of the white-spotted pufferfish is no casual affair. It's an aquatic ballet that combines serious craftsmanship with a dash of marine flirtation. Emil Pufferfish is a devoted artist and bachelor, spending days, not just moments, crafting an underwater masterpiece. It's not just for an art show, but to impress the toughest critic and potential partner, the female Pufferfish. As the female approaches, the scene resembles an undersea version of a reality home show. She's not just passing by, she's there to scrutinize every sand ridge and groove, making the rounds above and within the circle. Think of her as the judge on So You Think You Can Dance, which I was kicked off not once, but twice. For sand circle crafting, her inspection is thorough. The stakes are high. The quality of the circle, a direct reflection of the male's fitness and ability to provide, which determines whether he gets a partner or remains a lonely artist. If the female gives a circle a fin up, the deal is sealed. She enters the circle not just to appreciate the art, but to lay her eggs turning this sand sculpture into a cradle of life. This central zone becomes more than a mere stage for this biological ballet. It acts as a fortress, guarding the next generation against the relentless ocean currents and ever-hungry predators. Wow, is, uh, is anybody else crying? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Postmating the male white-spotted pufferfish doesn't just swim off into the sunset, leaving his masterpiece behind. No, no, he switches from artist to bodyguard patrolling the sandy nursery like a royal guard. This isn't a casual gig either, he's all in. Circling the nest, keeping pesky predators at bay, and doing some touch-up work on the nest to keep it in top condition. This dedicated dad ensures that his future mini puffers have a fighting chance in the tough ocean world. But all good things must come to an end. Once the eggs hatched and the next generation of pufferfish begin their own aquatic adventures, the nest roll is complete. Like a sand castle at high tide, it's gradually erased by the natural ebb and flow of the ocean currents, leaving behind no trace of its previous grandeur, only to be reconstructed when it's time to woo and win over a mate once more in the next breeding season. The mysterious pufferfish are making waves again, this time off Australia's northwest coast, proving that their artistic flair isn't just confined to the waters of Japan. These recent sightings are not just a thrill for marine biologists, but a plot twist in the ongoing saga of these enigmatic sea creatures. Previously thought to be residents solely of specific regions in Japan, these new chapters suggest that the pufferfish are more like globe-trotting artists, potentially expanding their studios across broader marine canvases. This geographical plot twist is stirring up the scientific community, hinting at the possibility of previously unidentified species. Let's think of it as discovering a whole new artist collective in an unexpected corner of the world. It's kind of like finding out that your favorite underground band has members in different countries, or a whole new album to discover, each adding unique flair to the music. Or in this case, the pufferfish might just be weaving their sand circle symphonies in more oceans than we initially thought. The implications of these findings are significant, showcasing a more adaptable and widespread capability among these creatures. It challenges previous notions and opens up a new line of inquiry about how environmental factors influence their behaviors and possibly even their evolution. Just like a hit new series that gets renewed for more unexpected seasons, the story of the pufferfish continues to evolve, promising new research adventures and perhaps new mysteries to solve. The integration of technology and marine research is like having VIP backstage passes to the most exclusive underwater shows. With tools like remote operated vehicles or ROVs, autonomous underwater vehicles or AUVs, and state of the art video technologies provided by industry collaborators, researchers are unlocking secrets of the deep ocean like never before. These gadgets are the unsung heroes of marine science, allowing researchers to reach the remote and mysterious depths that were once considered unreachable. Imagine ROVs and AUVs as the underwater drones navigating the eerie dark waters where even the bravest divers cannot venture. These machines are equipped with cameras and sensors that stream live footage and data back to scientists safely on ships or even back on land. And this allows for real-time monitoring and the ability to capture phenomena like the intricate sand circles crafted up by our elusive pufferfish without stirring up sediment or disturbing the marine life. The impact of these technological tools extends beyond simple observation. 
They transform how we study and interact with the ocean's mysteries. They make it possible to conduct a non-invasive research on delicate underwater ecosystems, plus provide continuous monitoring without the ecological footprint that human presence might cause. This tech-centric approach is not just about observing, it's about preserving. The intricate sand circles are more than just nests. They're a testament to the pufferfish's cognitive abilities and evolutionary innovations. These behaviors reflect a sophisticated level of environmental manipulation that suggests advanced problem-solving skills. By comparing these rituals with those of other species, scientists gain valuable insights into the diverse strategies of marine species for reproduction and survival, highlighting the pufferfish's unique niche in evolutionary history. These behaviors also provide a lens through which to view the broader ecological dynamics at play. Understanding the role of such species-specific behaviors helps scientists piece together the complex puzzle of marine biodiversity and the interactions that sustain these ecosystems. The pufferfish's sand sculptures, therefore, contribute to a larger understanding of ecological roles and the delicate balance needed to maintain marine health. As we continue to uncover the secrets of the marine world, each discovery adds a piece to the puzzle of our planet's biodiversity and ecological complexity. The white-spotted pufferfish and their sand circles are just one of many marvels beneath the waves that await our understanding. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this video for you, and I do hope to do more fish videos like this in the future. If you enjoyed it, please hit me with a like, a share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop, and visit our website for more aquatic info and facts galore. You can also leave me a super thanks, which goes out to making videos like this. Or better yet, check out the video to your right. We'll see you next time.